chopped up 175 mil um, off this. I'm just going to cut this end off. This is so that I can weld on the um, the ring and then uh, um, get the skimmed flap. Sorry, get the ring skimmed flap, and I'll have to weld this back on. <laughs> actually um, to get the, the TIG root pass for these for these um, pipe caps that I'm gonna have to put on now I have believe it or not got the actual ticket for this but I haven't done it for a while so I was just having a little bit of a practice this one um, is not very good it's okay, it's sort of through, but there's a little, there's a few bits that I've missed here. A little bit of undercut, no, not good enough. This one, better. Um, that one's much better, but still not very uniform, a little bit lumpy. I mean, from the inside, it's, it's nice. I just put these in the water to cool them down. I mean, it's good from the inside, but the, it's this, which is the important one. I mean that one's not too bad actually and this one again there's not enough not enough has come through. So I'm getting there but I just need to I just need to dial the old hand in again. Um, makes a nice fillet joint if you put a bit of effort in but unfortunately that's not what we're doing. And uh, I meant to bring the new, the next set of pictures actually put in here because I'm going to put the viewport drawings in because that's going to be the thing I'm going to do next along with um, welding these these pipe caps and start making these battery pods but um, I forgot to print them out. But anyway, the, the hull is on the way, it's currently in, in Portsmouth, I'll put the picture up. So it's uh, waiting in Portsmouth and it'll be here on Tuesday. <laughs> 